Today I'm going to show you how to crop a photo into any shape on Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad. This tutorial is not only a tutorial about cropping a photo or cropping an image into a shape. I'm going to show you why I had to do this for my full-time job. I had to take headshots and crop everyone's face into circles to fit on an email signature. And I'm going to show you a few tips, a few techniques and good practices on how I did this so everyone's eyes lined up and their whole head fitted in around the same position as everyone else. Else's. It's a lot of fun. I think you'll learn a lot. So let's get into it. Here we are back inside of Indie Photo 2 on the iPad. This is a photo of myself as if you couldn't tell. Here I am looking straight at the camera. And the reason we've got a setup like this is because I had to take headshots of everyone in my company for email signatures. This is a real process or this is a real tutorial or the real work of what I did to get our email signatures. We were away in Northern Ireland and old mill this is an old mill you can see by the, the ceilings here and the old floorboards but it doesn't really matter what everyone else looks like what matters is what's behind the subject this is simply just a black pop-up screen and we're going to do a bit of a circle and for the email signatures we're also going to make them black and white and I'll maybe show you a few other tricks along the way. How I will go about setting up doing headshots for everyone in my company. I'll not show you everyone in my company, but just a, a few tips and tricks along the way. And I think this will be good fun. So first of all, my hands are in my pockets. Why is your hands in your pockets, Andrew? Anyway, this was taken with my iPhone 14 Pro. I took all the other photos, but this photo was taken by one of my colleagues and it was taken with an iPhone. Not in portrait mode, anything like that. And it's, it's really, really sharp. And we'll not go that close. So to begin the tutorial, on the left-hand side, we're going to click into the rectangular tool tap it again and we're going to go to the circle tool here and it just click on my nose a shape starts to appear if we tap one finger you'll see it goes completely circular two fingers you'll be able to scale the shape from the center of where i tapped which was my nose but it's still not in proportion and that's why if we use three fingers not only does it scale it in proportion, it makes it completely circular. And we'll do something like that. And we'll let go of my Apple Pencil. Let go of the three fingers. Although you can't see me, I am under there. And this is the fun and easy bit. And this is the, this is really the bulk of the tutorial. If I click on myself and I'll maybe change the background here. Again, it's good practice to name layers. We'll click on the three dots. Click on background and I will type my name in. Okay, and the reason for doing that, we'll tap back, is at the end of this project, you, you'll maybe not see it, but I'm going to import everyone in my company in. And if I give them each a name, it'll just make things much easier. But I'm going to tap on this layer, Andrew, bring it into the middle. Not, I'm not going to put it above. If you, if you put it above, you can see there's a... A blue line if you put it underneath right in the middle the whole thing gets highlighted and if i simply tap away look at that that's the tutorial more or less done you'll see i am now cropped in to a circle all this checkerboard effect means it's completely transparent and that looks really really well can i say it looks really really well when i'm talking about myself but you know what i mean we've now got our shape and there's a few things just to make things easier i would do now i'm happy with the shape but i'm gonna crop it in because now we really don't need all this information so i'm just gonna click and crop and i'm gonna move it down and i'm gonna maybe zoom in and move it really close to the edge maybe just leave a pixel or two there and i'll do the same at the bottom just use an apple pencil again leave it a pixel or two you can also move these sliders on the left hand side you can do different things up here too but the sliders will also move it in and out and that's not too bad but i like i like getting in there and being really precise with my Apple Pencil. Again, two fingers will move around the canvas, a finger and a thumb to pinch in and out, or two fingers to pinch in and out, but that's that's not as easy. Finger and thumb to pinch in and out. And again, we'll, we'll move it quite close within a pixel. That looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna tick the tick box up here. And now you can see, maybe this here could come in just a little just being a little bit picky maybe here 
Yeah, that looks, doesn't have to be exact, but well, it's nice to be exact because this will be used for email signatures. So you can see maybe three, three squares there, three squares there, three there, and just short of three there. So I'm pretty happy with how this looks, but I'm not happy with the position of myself. So I'm still on the Andrew layer and I'm going to tap the move tool and you can see even though we've cropped it in, we've got all this information. I'm just moving the picture around. Really, we've just cropped it or we've, we've masked it really into a circle and you can see everything the image is still there, but I'm maybe just going to scale myself up. I kind of want... I think I want to, yeah, something like that, maybe just a little bit more. Again, this is for an email signature, but it could also be for a social media profile. It could be for a CV. If my boss is watching, it's not for my CV, it's for your email signature for the company. There's lots of ways or lots of reasons to crop in like this. And it doesn't even need to be this shape. It can be different shapes. And just to show that point, I'll maybe do that now. I'll get this into position that I'm quite happy with. And I think that looks pretty good. I don't want it too close to the top and I want some of the, some of my shirt in. And for an email signature, I think that looks quite nice as in the center. I'll maybe just move it slightly over, move the hand. And I think that's not looking too bad. I'm just going to duplicate this layer. So just duplicate it and I'm going to bring it to the top. This is just complete a complete new layer. I'll go to the shape tool, not a circle, and oh, let's do a heart shape for Valentine's Day for my wife. No, we'll, we'll stay away from that. A diamond, a triangle. We'll maybe do a star for a bit of fun. And again, we'll tap my nose. And one finger keeps it in proportion. Two fingers. Oh, 10% left. So we've only 10% left to get this tutorial done. So here we go. Well, well, not be too long. So one finger, put it on my nose. One finger will make the star in proportion. Two fingers will bring it from the center where I tapped on my nose and then three fingers, I'll bring it in proportion. And I'll do something like that. So I'll just hide this layer. And then, because you'll be able to see what's happening better, bring Andrew into the stars, the stars, I'll highlight it. And there he is. So I'll scale myself down. So something, something like that. I don't know, but uh, we'll take myself out of that. We'll delete the star and just for fun, we'll do another shape very quickly. A donut. A diamond, a diamond might be quite interesting. I'll tap, I'll zoom in, tap my nose, one finger, two fingers, three fingers. And actually for this, maybe I'll not use my third finger because I, I kind of want it to be I mean, a shape like that. Tap an Andrew, bring it in to the diamond. And again, click on the move tool. I can, uh, oh, there's interesting. Sound like a bit like from, uh, but like one of the Superman films, you know, when they go in those diamonds and they spin off into space. I mean, that's just me. So, uh, it's so, so easy to do this in any shape. I'll just click on this layer and that deletes them both. And I'll bring it back to our circle. And I think that's looking really, really, really well. I'm happy with the circle. I'm happy with the proportion of my face. My <laughs> happy with my face, happy with the proportion of my face. And there's two things before we end this tutorial. I'm going to, just beside the toggle preview mode, there's a small drop down. I'm going to come down to guide settings. And the reason for this is if you're using this on an email signature, I want everyone's face to be roughly the same place in each signature. And to do that, I'm gonna set up a few guides very quickly. And it's very easy to do that in Affinity Photo 2. Simply just click 
on this tool here under guides and we can move it with our finger or our apple pencil or we can move it with our finger there and simply i just want to roughly get it in line with my ear i'll do another guide here again roughly or my hairline rather than my, my ear kind of and then if we do a horizontal line that's we'll kind of make it or we'll make it maybe my eyes actually for this one and maybe one more for my chin or where my shoulders chin and shoulders kind of meet and maybe just one more for fun as the, that'll be the top of my hair and why am I setting this up you'll see in a minute or you'll see now because I'll just click in the layers and click there again just to remove all that and now you can see layer setup and if I import a photo I want it to be roughly where my face is just so every email signature looks fairly alike so I'm just going to look and get a photo which is not someone from the company I'm going to bring up the dock bring the photos up to the right hand side and here is a photo of my son so I'm just going to drag that in here and although he doesn't work for my company we did have to do a headshot for him for our passports our passports or my kids passports needed re renewed at the start of the year so i took a few photos not in front of a black background in front of a white background and uh we we're able to touch them up in affinity photo too and then send them or apply for our passports online all digitized and uh, that was all great so this is my son again just good housekeeping click the three dots click into this and we'll just call him son okay click back and this is the brilliant thing here we've already made if i just hide him we've already made our circle we've got our margin set up if i simply bring him to above the andrew layer so it's going to be in this nearly folder if you like look at that straight away he goes into this circle and he's already cropped out and now i can maybe make him a little bit bigger and again these lines are just for a guide this line was for the eyes the center of my eyes and seeing he as a kid it's going to be a little off but i'm happy with this this guide is running through his eyes this line was the, roughly the top of my head. This line was for my chin and shoulders. And obviously his chin doesn't go down there. We could make it just, maybe just make it, oh, two fingers to undo. Pinch in and out to zoom in and out. We'll make it a little bit bigger just so. And zoom in the eyes. And you'll see why this is so powerful now. And maybe my face is a little bit longer than his but if you've got everyone in the same setup if i just hide this layer now you will see our eyes are in the same location and although i may be standing a bit closer to him you, you can see how we can set up email signatures for everyone in the company or in this case maybe one day son he'll work in the company i don't know it's not my company so i can't promise you that but you can see how we can start to build up tons and tons of photos just drag them into this layer and they'll all be roughly the same and the same proportion just so some people's faces aren't bigger than others and i think that looks really really well the final thing i'm going to do i'm not done yet say you want to hide these markings just tap on that icon tap to get them back tap to hide them and as i said at the start these email signatures are going to be black and white so we're going to go to the adjustment layer on the right hand side and tons of adjustments but you can see up at the very top black and white we simply tap black and white and i think that looks well and what's better is if i show my son now his photo is also black and white and you can see again just by having lots of different people how easy this can be to do but i wouldn't be completely happy with that i think it looks good but i think we're going to improve it with another adjustment layer and i'll maybe move down to curves 
we'll tap on this grid and we'll just, and we'll maybe what is commonly known as an S curve. We're going to make a slight, nearly it looks like an S. By tapping here, we're going to bring up the, the highlights just a little. Tap down here to bring down the shadows, maybe a little bit more. And this is all personal preference. I'll maybe bring down the shadows a little because I nearly look a little bit blown out. And if we tap into our layers, if I just hide that layer, you can see it was looking a little washed out just by adding that bit of curve. It's just darkened it a little. And when it zoomed out, look at that. I think that looks really well again. That's how my son's looking, seeing it's a, diff, it's a different light and setting. He's in a different background. It doesn't look just as good, but for everyone in my work, which had the same light and setting, the same background, it's so, so easy just to import their photos again. It's for my company, so I'm not going to show you the, the different people that I work with, but I could simply import the same kind of photo in. And by doing very little, all I would have to do is scale a photo up into these guide settings, the adjustment layers are already there and it'll really cut down my workflow. And that's how I set up my email signatures. And if you get an email from me, from my work, you'll find this dodgy character below the email. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you learned something. Try this out for yourself and let me know in the comments below how you get on. Also, if you really wish, you can download my photo and try it out for yourself. Please like and subscribe if you found any value in this video. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.